Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio, the United States of America, where I am free to be able to preach, preach the truth, not just the gospel, the good news, but the entire Bible, the entire Word of God. That includes what a lot of some people think is science fiction hype, prophecy. That has came to pass and is coming to pass before our own eyes. That a lot of people are blind to see. They got, they're like horses. They got blinders on. All they want to see is straight ahead. All they want to see is the good news. The good news, the good news, the good news, that's all. They don't want to see out here. They don't want to have the peripheral vision from God called... Um, wisdom. They don't want to have wisdom. Especially the wisdom that God gives. Yahweh, Jehovah. Elohim, whatever you want to call him, the great I Am. The God of all gods. I posted a picture on, uh, of scripture on my ministry site. My ministry, my ministry that that God gave me gave me back in the uh, late uh, 1970s when I was attending the Scripture Holiness Church in Newcomers Town by the uh, late uh, William Gamble, Pastor William Gamble. Anyhow, I posted this on my um, ministry site. Scripture from 1 Thessalonians 4, and it's 3 through 7. The reason why I posted it was because of the fact... That... Right here, it says, right here. The Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. In other words, this is the warning right up here. That uh, we are um, to uh, basically ab abstain from uh, fornication. Of course, this is King James Version. The um, Uh, hang on a second here. I, oops, hang on a minute. Let's see, where was that? Nope, hang on a minute. I gotta go in here. Where was that? Anyhow, hang on a second. I gotta find uh, that scripture there again. Uh, I had several things open here. Okay, New King James, or just a little bit better reading. For this is the will of God, our sanctification, that you 
should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in possession of lust, lack like the Gentiles, like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage of and de defraud his brother in this matter, because the Lord is the avenger of such, of all such, as we also forewarned you and testified. Long story short, I am on my, I've been getting comments on my ministry site after I had posted this from uh, the woman from Thailand and then Neil Hobolt from, uh, hey, you know, I can show my ministry site if I want to on my YouTube. This is my ministry site. This is my Facebook site. My uh, I created for my ministry. Now, other people think they have more right to run it than I do. Or to tell me what I can and cannot post or, or what I can and cannot say or do on my ministry site. Who do they think they are? This is my ministry site. It has my name on it and my ministry's name on it. Not theirs. Like I said, I posted this. And then she commented with a, a stupid comment about some guy that found some fossils. That said it was uh, proof of uh, Noah's flood. Neil uh, made a post. Then she said something. And, and I commented asking Neil, what church do you attend? Do that makes you think that you are more righteous to judge me on... On or rather not I keep the word of God long story short I would try and say uh, hmm. or ask him what church he goes to to make him think that he's more righteous than anybody else's basically or even me I'm not saying I'm righteous, more righteous. I'm not saying I'm more righteous than anybody, but I am saying that I know what I know to be the truth, that Jesus Christ wrapped himself, wrapped his arm around me in a near-death experience I had. I was about ready to go into the light. Maybe, you know, maybe I should have said, Jesus, I'm sorry. I don't want to uh, go back. I want to stay here. I want to go into the light and stay here. Maybe it would have been better for all you who want to do what you want to do. So you don't have to hear me telling you that you're sinning. You're sinners because you're trying to tell me that I'm a sinner. You're trying to say that I don't keep God's word. There's people that says that, well, there's people that think that I don't keep God's word because I eat pork. There's people that think I don't keep God's word because I go to church on a Sunday instead of a uh, Saturday. There's people that, you know what? I, I listen to God's word and God's word says that the first church changed from going on the Sabbath to the first day of the week because that is when the Lord 
rose again on the third day. And our first day of the week is Sunday. But getting back to the, my post that I'm being told I shouldn't be on. I wasn't even saying anything to her. I did not comment to her. I commented directly to Neil Hobolt. And then she chimed in and said, My comments were intended for Mr. Hobolt. Mind your own business, is what she said to me. Mind your own business. This is my site, not hers. And then I told her, I said, Wow, I commented to Neil Hobolt, not you. Stop lying, McKim. It's getting old, she says. Uh, what does that say right there? That says Neil Hobolt. Uh, this is a her name. That says Neil Hobolt's name right there. Then she tells me to stop lying. It's getting old. Again, then I said, this is my ministry site, and it is my right to say things on here. Now, I'm... Now... How am I lying when I replied to Neil Hobolt's comment? Then she tells me, go back to bed, McKim. You're, you've had a busy day of sitting in your recliner. Well, for one thing, I can tell you one thing right now. It is Saturday. 3.45 p.m. is in the afternoon, late afternoon, going on evening here in the United States of America, Ohio. And I can tell you right now, it is early morning, Sunday morning, in Thailand. Let me uh, refresh this, see what, uh, right here. It is 2.46 a.m. ICT, Sunday morning. March 20th, of course, 2016. Basically, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 11 hours ahead of me. She's 11 hours ahead of me. She must be the one that needs to go back to bed. She's 11 hours ahead of me. It's early morning there. And she's making these stupid comments on my site. As if it's her site. Wow, I mean, the nerve of some people. I I have the right to preach. Because the word, the Bible says, also, um, where did I have that? Yeah, I, I still, I gotta look for her here real quick. Uh, try to. It says, preach a word. In season and out of season.
Oh, here is 2 Timothy 4. 2 Timothy 4. 2 Timothy 4 says, Preach the word. Exclamation point. Preach the word. Be ready. In season and out of season. Convince. Rebuke. Exhort. With all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because of their having itching ears, they will heap up themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you be watchful in all things. Watchman on the wall right there. Be watchful in all things. Endure afflictions. We, I, you know, go, go through afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. Whose ministry? My ministry. Not her ministry. It's my ministry site, not hers. But yet, it seems like to me that everybody else wants to run my ministry. And try to tell me what I'm doing wrong. When in reality, they're the ones doing wrong. By judging me. And they're not judging me rightfully with righteous judgment. Because they, they, they can't. Because they're not righteous. Actually, the Bible says, No one's righteous. No, not one. Unless you are saved. And you are born again. And you have the Holy Spirit living with inside you. And I don't have to, you know, I don't have to really say any more than that. But I know you'll get it all twisted up to mean what you want it to mean. Because that's the way you are. And uh, all these other comments that people's been making on uh, on my YouTube. Which I, I had to wait until uh, my video is done downloading the one I'm downloading right now. About uh, it should be done. It's processing preaching. And the last day preaching that in the last days many will be offended and will not endure sound doctrine. So as soon as that gets uploaded and I can see what these other comments were that people are saying. Wow, I mean, it just keeps keeps going, 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 going. And you wonder why I keep preaching, posting, uh, you know, posting on YouTube. So hopefully, that, you know, sooner or later, those people who do believe will, uh, and do understand that we're fighting against the evil, the evil spirits that are indwelling a lot of these people's thoughts. There are evil spirits, Satan's demons, indwelling these people's minds and hearts and making them do these things. See, we don't, we're not wrestling against actual flesh and blood, but the invisible that we cannot see.
that are indwelling these people's thoughts and hearts. They might not be possessed like you would think a possession is on TV. But they are possessed. But when your thoughts go from knowing God, worshiping God, and all of a sudden, you know, you don't believe no more. You're possessed. It's a different kind of possession. It's not like the possession that uh, Jesus um, had to deal with in the Old Test, in the New Testament days, in the between the uh, Old and New Testament, actually. But it is a form of possession. Get another comment or email something on my message on my phone. So I'm going to get off here and uh, get ready to post this video here too after this other one's done. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by and only through Him. God bless you. Have a blessed day.